So this next tip I want to share with you is something that can make an unbelievable impact on the way your users do their work and it's something actually relatively simple but it kind of goes against the grain of what SharePoint does that I've default. And so one of the things that Microsoft's never been able to get away from is that this whole concept of how we think of information in the first place and, and that somehow we easily think of information in the form of libraries, lists, discussions, sites, and versus where we really think about it is, which is more in activity driven, more around the way we do our job. And so one of the real big recommendations there is to actually change the navigation that you have on the side. This is your atypical uh, SharePoint navigation and when you only have a few things to get to this may be okay as this continues to grow and grow you tend to start running into the problem of people not being able to easily differentiate between different types of information and understand really uh, where to go and how to go there and that kind of piece because people don't necessarily think in those things of okay so it's a document so it's stored in a library it's a piece of information it's stored in a list it's more like I want to go to my project I want to go to my project document documents. So what we really recommend is that you really take a look at a little different methodology for where you go and you really look at having different types of navigation that are more contextual to what you're looking at but also uh, kind of override that pattern. As you can see kind of from some of the examples here instead of having the list libraries type thing we've actually changed the navigation to actually function a little bit more along the lines of how a user might work and that's very important because we're kind of looking at the different pieces and it makes it easier for people to make decisions. Now one caveat of this, one of the unfortunate things that just frustrates the heck out of me with SharePoint is that if you do make this change and then you add another list or library you're going to always actually find that that library or list heading shows back up in the quick launch or depending if you're using publishing features the navigation but you can easily remove that again but it is kind of a frustration that doesn't make sense. But overall, the, the point of this uh, posting is to make you understand that making your navigation make more sense and be more functional for the users is going to be a huge advantage.